So what is going on guys, welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video, today is another ability comparison video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Heal Flower, the Dark Flower and the Rainbow Flower. Now of course the Heal Flower and the Rainbow Flower have similar roles where they're designed to heal your teammates whereas the Dark Flower doesn't heal your teammates at all, it will actually attack the enemies so you want to keep that in mind when we are comparing these abilities but as always we're going to take a look at the descriptions of what these abilities say so the heal flower says heal flowers can be deployed to help keep the sunflower and her teammates in the fight the dark flower says the dark flower is a nasty little plant it shoots hurtful red lasers at the zombies but it doesn't heal because it is an evil flower and the rainbow heal flower description says the rainbow heal flower is exactly the same as the standard heal flower but it is rainbow colored it also knows calculus okay no that's a lie it's colorful so from those descriptions the heal flower and the rainbow heal flower you would think are exactly the same and of course the dark flower will be attacking the zombies rather than healing the plants now that's almost 100 percent true apart from the fact that the rainbow heal flower does act a little bit different, but we are going to be breaking those down in today's video. So after getting the information about these three abilities, I found out that each one of these abilities will take 36 seconds to recharge, and every flower will remain on the ground for 30 seconds. So as far as how long they are on the ground for, and how often you can use the abilities, they are exactly the same, so there is no difference there. One thing that you will notice from the gameplay is that the Rainbow Heal Flower does function a little bit different to the regular Heal Flower. The regular Heal Flower bursts 3 sun every few seconds, whereas the Rainbow Heal Flower only does 1 sun at a time, but it actually fires it 3 times as quick as the regular Heal Flower. And I actually looked at some gameplay and noticed that in the period of 30 seconds where the sun is on the floor, the Heal Flower will give you 36 sun, each one of the heals heals 5, so that is 180 healing that Sunflower can do for you or your teammates. Taking a look at the Rainbow Heal Flower, it actually releases 37 sun, so it's one extra sun from the Rainbow Heal Flower, which is 185 healing. Although that's not a big difference, I thought it's some information that you would like to know, that the Rainbow Heal Flower technically heals slightly more than the standard Heal Flower. Moving over to the Dark Flower, this is the offensive flower that you can use because it will be attacking the zombies. You can place it down and it fires in bursts to attack the zombies. Now this damage will change depending on how accurate and how much it damages the zombie. So it is difficult to give a full accurate reading of how powerful the Dark Flower is. But it is very good to use if you have multiple sunflowers on your team because of course you can heal each other but also if you want to play as for example the vampire flower you could use the dark flower because the vampire flower can heal itself from attacking the zombies with her primary weapon so there's no need to have that heal flower to heal yourself so I would recommend using the dark flower with characters like the vampire flower and also if you have multiple sunflowers on your team for example, if you're playing Garden Ops and there's two or three of you, use a Dark Flower because you can heal each other absolutely fine. Apart from that though, and you want to be the supportive role or doing what the Sunflower is supposed to do, which is heal and revive your teammates, then I would suggest using one of the heal abilities. And personally, in my opinion, I do prefer the Rainbow Flower. The reason for that is, first off, it looks awesome. Second off, you do get that little bit more health uh, over the course of the 30 seconds and finally because it does fire out sun slightly quicker than the regular heal flower and what I mean is it's one sun every second rather than three sun every three seconds if you only need a little bit of health you don't need to wait those three or two seconds to get all the sun that you may not necessarily need and even though it may only be the difference between one or two seconds that could be the difference between taking out a zombie 
being vanquished because sometimes you can get taken out pretty quickly. So overall, my personal opinion is I do prefer the Rainbow Heal Flower, uh, but it was only available from Rook, so if you do not have the Rainbow Heal Flower, I would recommend if you want to be a healer and a supportive character, use the Heal Flower. If you want to be one of those Sunflowers that goes in there and tries to take every zombie out, use the Dark Flower. Or, if you are a Vampire Flower, use the Dark Flower anyway, because you can heal yourself. But hopefully, you did enjoy today's ability comparison video. If you did, make sure you do drop a like down below. It lets me know that you do enjoy these videos, and that you do want to see some more. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Exfusions, and hopefully, I will catch you guys next time.